Due to lack of sex education, counseling and guidance, many innocent girls fall victims of rape, forced marriages and many other challenges due to sex gap and differences. They end up being single teen mothers. Aisha, a 15-year-old girl, is one of the victims. Aisha was raised by a single mother, staying in a single room house of six people, her single mother, three sisters, one brother, and Aisha, the oldest. With a lot of suffering and surviving life influenced by a lot of poverty, and no chance for education. At the age of 15, Aisha carried the responsibilities of taking care of six people because she had got fed up of the poor living standards at her home. She left the village for Kampala in search for green pastures to help her single mother and to take care of her siblings. Not being exposed enough, Lacked sex education, she found things very new and different in Kampala, where she found a young man who took advantage of her ignorance. Aisha didn't know she was pregnant until she missed her periods for four consecutive months, and all her dreams and intentions for her poor family fell apart, so she went back to the village pregnant. Because Aisha couldn't afford the hospital bills and even the requirements for birth, she was helped by the neighbors, elderly women, and her single mother to give birth. In search for help, Aisha's mother contacted future opportunities for a girl child because Aisha didn't know where to find the father of her baby girl who had disappeared. Aisha's mother is a hand-to-mouth survivor with other little ones under her care, so she's unable to support her victim teen daughter plus her innocent granddaughter. That's why Future Opportunities for a Girl Child is here to help victims like Aisha. Help them overcome the self-conviction, not to cast themselves and not to put a blame on themselves. And also bring that mother to baby love. Because these teen mothers don't have love for their innocent babies. For they were a result of rape and other unbearable causes. All these are possible through our special counseling and guidance. We reached out to Aisha with baby clothes, bed sheets, socks, shoes, pampers, porridge, etc.